Hello, welcome back. We are carrying on exactly where we were. I've just paused the game, gone away, done, done some stuff. Oh, ah, is the Midnight Club available? Possibly. I love the music in this game. It's it's actually really evocative. There, there are some uh, tracks that just don't fit, but they're of a style which does, which is kind of interesting. Ah, that's useful. I'm somebody Happy to do this because I don't want to get you to copyright strike. <laughs> oh, stupid system, it really is. Oh, bollocks! What's got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look ah, like? A guy from the photo. Your is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. All right, I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up my arse. No thanks, brother. And um, there's the photo. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't he wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown. Bum -ba -da -doo. On we go. Ready to move out? The truck is loaded and ready to roll. And the Aurora? Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to Saarbrücken. I've marked the location on your map. So you got a bit of an instruction. Come on, Sean, get in. Now we got yeah, the yeah. Now we've got the prologue where the story actually begins. So tutorial mission and stuff. Come on, here we go. That's what I was on about. Sean, we really need to get to the track. Come on. Turn it off. No. Just can't. Turn off the music. Whatever. Handbrake turn. This is it, my friend. After tomorrow, you'll be a famous driver, and I will be right there beside you, reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women. These German girls are crazy for racers. We'll have a dozen blonde beauties feeding us grapes, huh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jules. But there's more riding on this race than you getting your hull knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheelman. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. Vittori's got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that a war could break out any minute, huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. 
These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job. Difference. You've got nice agrarian areas. You've got the. There's the border up ahead. Oh. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned me, leader Hosen. Yeah. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting. They pass on the rise of Papira. Alice in order, fit up, quite again. Not much farther now. I can smell the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the rest. <laughs> Are you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. The teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. But not you, Jules. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Veronique got the brains of the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's around. Hey, it's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. Why's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. <laughs> Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. Cousin Javier, where's the boss? Vitor is waiting for you at the bar down the street. Leave the truck with us. <laughs> First round's on me. Right, let's go in road trip. In the bar. Wonderful. I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic route. You run into any trouble? No. Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. The Signor Morini. For taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. Another round for me, mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Mm. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. Okay. I'm gathering he's the big head honcho that we're going to be going up against. Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes, racing is politics. No. There is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Herr Morini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. <laughs> this must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. It's getting late. Why did we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Dine with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. <laughs> ah! oh. Yeah. Boss, get my crazy sister out of here before she gets herself killed. I am 
not going anywhere. Enough! I'm taking her upstairs. I'm fit, Let's see if you can do this. Oh. Oh, say it. Out the way, out the way, out the way. Yeah. Time to get scarce. Right behind you! Boom. Chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Nailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car! Hold on to your arses. Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. How long have you been in town? Mm, just got in, actually. I see you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Oh, those fellas behind us, they're just having a laugh. Is this just for routine meant to be a turn on? I don't know. Is it working? Would you watch the fucking world, please? The radio ahead is set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. They teach you that in your posh English school. Well, like that. That was fun. Anyone fancy a nightcap? <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Uh, fuck this. I'm not going to be the third wheel. Take me back to the hotel. One thing that you do need to be aware of with the uh, pathing of the AI vehicles, they're not very clever. So, yeah, you can very easily set off an alarm just by going near a car. I'm going to bed. Keep the noise down, eh? I need some fucking rest. Come on up. I'll sneak you in the back door. Wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I forgot to mention the game's full of cliches. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years. Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules' little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So, you in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for Eleven. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night. Like I said, full of cliches. <laughs> That's quite funny, especially when he's smoking Where's cigarettes. the Duchess of York? Don't know. She was gone when I woke up. To be honest, I feel a bit used. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Come on, let's get to the track. <laughs> <To> the <track. 
Oh, you gotta love the way that they do this, man. It's, it's just funny. Right. Car. Get a car. Up in Joe's. Right. Now I still can't turn a bloody music off. I think I actually need to get out of the prologue and the tutorial before I can actually turn it off, but yeah, it's a, just one of those annoying little details that you just wish that you could change but you can't. Back here relatively soon, anyway. This is your moment, Sean. Remember what I taught you. I trained you to win. Watch your ass out there. These Nazi bastards are out for blood. Drivers to starting position. <laughs> I'll see you at the victory party. It's a nice car. Considering most of the others all look very, very insanely. But I think that's supposed to be like that. Gentlemen, it's time to race! Yep, yep, we're gonna get to do perks. Don't worry about that, perks will be used. All the position. And they're off. The 1940s are broken Grand Prix in underway. Sean Devlin is making his move. It's a Mourinho Aurora. Devlin continues to gain ground. He's pushing the Aurora right up to the limit. Devlin putting it more on the line, but he'll need more than youthful enthusiasm to get past Germany's Kurt Dierker. together.
stop by the political booth and pick up your armbands to show party support. Participation is mandatory. Yeah. Please show us your mandatory support. It's how we do things at Belfast. Happy about that. <sighs> First place goes to Germany's Kurt Derricker, driving the silver dart for Team Doppelsee. It's a big ass trophy, but it's not yours, it's mine. No, Sean. I forbid Did it. you not see what that bastard did? The race was mine, Vittori. Don't go looking for trouble. It finds us all soon enough. It's time we went home. I'll see to the Aurora. Wait for me at the pit. What's that? That is where the silver dart will be on display after tomorrow's ceremony. What ceremony? In honor of Joker's victory, the latest triumph of the Aryan race. Oh, bollocks. It'd be a damn shame if something were to happen to Joker's car before the big shindig. You mean some kind of freak accident? Oh, that would be terrible. Aye, tragic. Who's up for a little Sunday drive? I'm game. Where are you two going? Vittori told you to wait here. Uh, we won't be long. Jules, don't be a fool. If you want to get yourself killed, I can't stop you. But leave my family out of it. Jules is his own man. If I may chime in... It's not polite to eavesdrop. Didn't they teach you that in boarding school? Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you were too busy screwing your teachers to notice. <laughs> Please, we can't all die virgins. <laughs> Brother, let's go, Jules. You're making a mistake, Sean. <laughs> when did you become the voice of prudence? Dirke isn't who you think he is. Oh, he's not a motherless arse-faced knob jockey. He's dangerous, Sean. <laughs> Let it go. Thanks for the tip. We'll see you girls later. Right. 
as we're on 25 minutes the next part could be pretty damn long so yeah here comes our boy let's find out what he's up to right we're gonna stop here and come back in a little while so see you in a bit and thanks for watching